ラーマ様に巡り合うその日までお覚悟これは私にとっての幸せな記憶ラーマ様の勇士は今もなお我が胸に行って腹立つじゃん Hello everyone! Welcome back for some more Let's Play Fate Grand Order. We're continuing through the Akihabara store, the fighting district here, where we are going through each of the, uh, the, the battles. This is a great intro. It's fine. We're just doing mostly battles. So as such, my brain has officially、uh, been turned off and I'm just big chilling. So, as such,、um, let's grab ourselves some low level servants that can be used、uh, to get through some of these guys here. I'm just going to try and use a variety so that we can、uh, save our really, really important ones for later. That said, I am going to go to sleep for the entire night, so it's not like I need to save like, the really good ones for a while. But at the same time, I don't necessarily want to use. Um, actually, what I might do, you know what I might do? I might put in one five star every now and then. Just to. Well, then again, I need to save them. What I will do is I'm going to do this, but I'm going to actually switch you off for this. Because then not only do you get Buster up, which is big, big good,、uh, but then you also get the bond up, which will be nice. I can appreciate that. So let's go with、uh, Santa Karna with his two little compatriots. We'll give that a shot. There was a couple more questions that came in、uh, after I finished recording the last one, so I thought, why not just include it here?、Um, throughout all、uh, your travels of all things、no、fate, what has been your favorite form of media to digest? That's, a, that's actually, I would say, a pretty tough one. To ask what my favorite. I'm actually going to put this on you.、Um, my favorite actual fate media. Hmm. I mean, I'd say this has been really good, right? Also, I don't think I've seen your new animations. Oh my god. Those are incredible. Wow. I don't think I've seen those ever. Those are really good. If I have, I haven't seen them, like, actually attack. I've seen your super.、Um, it's kind of a cop out to say Fate Grand Order because I'm playing it right now. But it actually might be. Like, it's just such a. Legitimately so good experience. You know what? I'm gonna pop this on you. Pop this so that you can get your stuff. Yeah, let's do some of this. Um, I mean, they're all so different. Like the original. Ah,、uh, you know what? I honestly, I might have to still give it to the original VN. Just for the fact that it's so good and I'm always, always thinking about it. Because it's like. It's, it's such a well written piece of work and there's so much depth to it. I'm always thinking about it. So, yeah, I'm uh. I don't even, actually, I don't remember seeing this. Dang. Has it been that long since I've looked at myself using him? It might be. Ah.、Uh, okay, if I, if I break it down in terms of things that I'm, I've actually, like, by genre, because I, I find comparing cross genre to be very difficult. Can they be charmed? No.、Um, yeah, I find breaking it down by, by genre will make it easier. Okay, so in terms of visual novel, like, yeah, Stay Night still is the top. It's the best. I love everything about it. It's such a journey. In terms of other game, I might have to give it to. I did enjoy Extra, but I feel like Extra didn't reach its full potential, which of course would、uh, be hopefully fixed by Extra CCC when I get to that. And I am really excited for what they're doing with Extra Record. Oh boy, can't wait for that.、Um, let's see. In terms of manga, 
probably the Tsukihime manga was like really, really, really good. Um, in terms of light novel, I actually have to give it to Strange Fake, even only having read volume one. Holy crap, Strange Fake is incredible. Um, then, let's see. Hmm. What other genres are there? I guess anime? Best anime? Ooh. Honestly, actually, I might have to give it to... Um, ah, it's actually a toss-up between Babylonia and Heaven's Feel. Both are really good in their own ways. I know some people don't like Heaven's Feel, the movies. But actually, I, I, I do enjoy them. I do like them. So, might have to give it to that. Controversial take. I haven't actually watched the Limited Blade Works, the, um, the show yet. So I might have to watch that too. But I, I've just been avoiding that just for the sake of the fact that, like, man, I'm, I'm, I don't need to see another adaptation of Stay Night for a while. Um, but I'm coming up on wanting to, so that'll be pretty soon. I guess that's kind of, kind of it, right? I mean, that was, I mean, I, 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 you know, the joke was that asked for fate, and of course I gave Tsukihime as one of the answers. But I do feel like it's all been part of the fate journey, right? It feels like it's all been just leading up to it. And who knows, as we go on, we might get more, you know, more interesting stuff that uh, I wouldn't expect. I mean, frick, I just finished Mahoyo, and that was, like, incredible. And then I did Strange Fake, and that was incredible. Wow, insta-death. Didn't actually expect that. Very nice. Uh, yeah, there's just a lot. What a good... What a good friggin' universe. And I'm not done it. I will be eventually. Not now, though. Alright, let's see here. I mean, not bad for damage, but man... You need a rework. We need Geronimo Alter. Geronimo who is done with the white man. Entirely. My man. Um... Let's see. So I, think, I feel like that covers it pretty well. I feel like that... Oh, we have one more question there. Favorite overall class of servant? I mean, if I'm going to be real, this is super boring, but I feel like this, you can't go wrong with the Saber class. It just has so many bangers. Like, when in doubt, it's going to be Saber class. Hey, speaking of, guess whose class we're going to use? It's your boy, the Saber class. Even the low-ranking Sabers are pretty good, right? Like, they're just legitimately pretty good. Um, so let's go with the four-star Saber. We'll go with you. And then we can get a slightly stronger or other saber. Nero. Yeah, let's go with that. I have not actually used your bloomers since unlocking them, so we'll put you on. Bloomer time. Let's go. Is that a cop-out to say saber's my favorite class? I mean, it just feels like you can never go wrong. I am, though. I have to reiterate. I'm very excited for... Um... Uh, Samurai Remnant. And I really hope that Samurai Remnant didn't win favorite merch. One favorite merch. I really hope that it is, like, good enough to extend past people that aren't Fate fans into enjoying it. Because, again, and if you really want to see a... It blows people's minds every time, because I know some people don't know about it. If you want to see a glimpse into an alternate reality where I have no freaking idea what Fate is... Um, go watch my original stream archive of me playing uh, Fate Extella, which I just called, and I kind of regret the title every day, I called it Moon Lesbians, which I kind of just did because I was on the side of haha -ha funny anime thing. Um, and then, you know, I had in the chat a lot of people explaining everything to me. And I remember after that, I literally went, I'm like, okay... I'm legitimately kind of curious 
about what is up with this, like, this universe. And then I remember trying to watch, I watched the first episode of Unlimited Blade Works, the, the, the new, new anime, and then I was like, I'm like, this is a bit confusing. So then I went to, I did some research, and then I was just hit with the wall of like, where do I start? And then I, I didn't figure it out. And yeah, it took until me basically, um, you know, figuring out, oh, if I just start with the visual novel, I'm good. Then that led to all this, right? And it was just on a whim. I just saw someone posted a link to the visual novel, and I'm like, sure, why not? I hear it's a good one, right? Like, I've always heard it's, it's a really good visual novel. So I definitely, I feel, made the right choice. Again, if you want to see that video, that's, it's so wild. It's so wild. It's like two hours of me being like, what the frick is a Fate? And the only reason I ever got Fate Extella was because I really wanted to play a Muso on the Switch. Like, that's just where it came from. Just me going, man, I want to play a Warriors game portably. And this was before any of them were out. And this was like, it was like a launch title for the Switch, basically, right? And so I was just like, yeah, I just I just want to play a, a Switch Muso. And I got one, right? Um, and I remember playing it and being like, I have no clue what's going on. And like, honestly, even after having beat Fate Extra, I'm just like, wow, that game really throws you in like it really throws you in to a degree that i was shocked by um so yeah yeah um it's kind of some of my rambling there but yeah fate samurai remnant can get people to oh, body pill oh i want the lamia body pillow it's 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 they made one for monster musume it's amazing um I really hope it can get some people in. I hope it can get people to be interested in a franchise that maybe they were like, you know, not knowing much about. And if it's if it is, you know, Samurai Remnant, which is just completely untouched by, uh, hopefully, the rest of the series there, um, you know, then I mean, aside from, you know, Musashi's there, but that's fine. She's a she's a world traveler. That's fine. Um, you know, if we have something where people can start with awesome right like that's that's all that's all we really need is we just need a jumping in point for people and then of course they'll get the inevitable where do i go from here and it's like well wherever you want it's your choice right you can kind of you know jump in with uh some of the anime some of the games pretty much it's pretty free form right goodbye wow didn't expect you to die but you did um let's just do this try to just do whatever full combos we got there we go. Weird that you're both talking when you did everything. The whole combo. Boy, your summer form just entirely negates the... Uh, <laughs> the uh, the non-summer form for you, huh? Just in terms of animations. God, good animations on that, too. Okay, so... Okay, and let's go with that. I just realized double pirates, huh? Kind of sick. Let's go. Yeah, let's go see star gather rate up. We'll go. Boop. Actually, we'll go one, two, and then probably the best is trying to get that, right? I shouldn't have put them on the same team. I shouldn't have put Bunyan on this team. Oh my god, what did I- I didn't even realize this. What- like, honestly, probably one of the lamest Noble Phantasms, and that's saying a lot. And on the other hand, we have one of the best. Look at him. What a Chad. What a man. What ca what character development on Blackbeard? So good. He's come around so much. He went from being the worst to being like, okay. And all it took was forced socialization and normalization through beating him up when he was not normal. It's all you do. When people aren't normal, just beat him up. That'll fix everything. A cosplay shop holding... Cosplay shop holding an event. Oh, I see. Cool. So, let's go with, again, some of these, like, low-level berserkers. 
Uh, I could Chen Gong you. Actually. Actually, let's let's do some like themed teams. That would be fun. Um, and then let's see here. Ooh. I don't think we have many other like Team China. Oh, you know who we do have who would be actually kind of perfect. Where is he? Right there. Yeah. I mean, these two weren't on the same team, but and I'm just going to double check. It works on the one to the right. Uh, sacrifice one ally. It's the one to the left, right? Yeah. Well, I think if I go like this, it should be fine. Yeah, we'll for sure get that. Okay, and I think we just actually need to switch these. There we go. Okay. Actually, I think that is considered your attack, so we'll go with that. All right. This will be silly. But silly is what I'm here for. God, Lubu is cool. And actually, I'll say this. There's a lot of history that I feel like you don't hear in... Oh, we should save it for the second one, though. Like, there's... There's worlds of, you know, places where, like, for example, if I went to a country, if I went to Europe, I probably wouldn't hear about Sherlock Holmes, or not Europe, but Britain. If I went to Britain, I probably wouldn't hear about Sherlock Holmes or King Arthur that much, right? It just is what it is, right? Um, if I go to, uh, you know, most countries, you probably wouldn't hear much about the heroes that would be in fate for that country, right? But, like, I'm continually shocked at how much I hear about the figures in, uh, you know, fate and other, you know, media in China here. Um, Qin Shi Huang comes up way more than I would expect in regular conversation. Um, to a point where I'm a little surprised. Okay, let's see. God, your animations are incredible. God, your animations are so good. God, your animations are so good. They're just so good. Um, yeah. Uh, but like, Cheng Gong. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll hear him brought up places. And it's like, wow. Charismatic S-level cosplayer. Strength up versus male. Dang, that shouldn't work on you. Because you don't like... You don't like, uh women do you have something that gives meter yeah don't you have the one that does max hp for berserker well you don't have any berserker stuff uh what we can do though is do this and yours is single target right yeah so we'll do pop that on you and with you we need to go okay so there's we need to do the one that's the 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 so it's mental debuff decrease yeah we do this one because you have a special order and then we do this. Okay, we, we kind of still did that right, but we almost didn't. Dang, never mind. We should have done the other way. Frick. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Will that work too? Okay, that one did. So we're going to do one, two, and then we'll do three to hopefully get enough with you to gain enough for your thing. We'll see. It's, it's tough because, like, I mean, it's interesting. You actually have to almost treat it like a berserker where you have to be careful with how you buff them because you have to buff it in a way that the, their mind doesn't get out of control. And that's kind of cool. Rip to you in particular. Okay, this wasn't enough. Sweet smoke incense. Stuff down. Can I not blow them up? I don't think I can. Is this gain meter? Nope. Okay, that's fine. Instead, just go one, two, three. All right, do as much as you can. Nice. He's still really strong. Like, Lu Bu is, even though he is a low-ranking, you know, berserker who is going to die almost instantly, he's still ridiculously strong. He's one of the ones that, I mean, I still will find myself possibly going back to. Right? Plus, it's Lu Bu. Like, frick, man. He's so cool. I don't know a single person who's not like, yo, Lu Bu. Thank you for the Blazes of Wisdom, which I don't need. I have, like, no servants. Back alley Akiba quests. Ninja concealed weapon shop. Do we have ninjas only? Assassins only? 
Okay. Okay, so assassins only. Interesting. So we'll go with this. Do we have an assassin who can hurt assassins? Not really. Um, let's see here. You're very good. And then we can go... I mean, if it's ninja, we gotta let my man in there, right? In fact, could we... Should we do all ninjas? Should we be silly? We could. Right? Don't we have... Mm, no, we don't have his mom. That's fine. We'll just stick with this. Okay. All right, this is silly. But I'm all down for silly. I mean, it's still a good little jingle. I will say, a lot of these jingles, I'm actually thinking of reappropriating them for, like, stream alerts. Because, like, why not? They're short. They're sweet. Literally. Like, they're sweet to listen to. I'm gonna use them. Not that I stream much, anyways. Security Shinobi. Okay, well, let's just kill you. Right? Oh, Sales Shinobi, too. Shinobi. Obi-Wan Shinobi. Oh my god, is that where his name comes from? Remove Shadow. What? What does that do? Is it going to make two when I hit him or something? Set target to yourself. No. Very strange. Okay. Nice. Okay, self-modification. Okay, so let's go with, uh... Again, try and get all our meter here, because we're going to need those. Boy, again, now that I've heard, like, Izo talking normally, it's changed so much of my just mental image of him. It's good. I like him a lot more now. But it was just like, when you hear him in battle, you don't really get enough of him. And now that I know that that's also how he just speaks, I'm like, wow, okay, he's kind of great. Uh, let's see here. We can do a full combo with you. Yeah, let's get rid of the sales shinobi, shinobi here. Because they're going to try and stop you. So, yeah, let's do this. Let's go with, is this... Sea star drop rates. Increase attack? Okay, we'll just do the increase attack regardless. Right? So we'll do one, two, three. Okay. That's gonna kill. Good. Nice. We picked a good one there. So that would have, if they had target focus or something, done something. Oh, Izo, you're hurting, buddy. Can we get a dodgy on you? Yeah. And see Star Gather rate up. We'll do a good crit with you. Yeah, that's what we want. We'll go one, two, three. Okay. That is a terrible crit. Okay. Um, might just pop. Mm, I'm gonna save that for next turn just in case, because I feel like we'll survive. It's just if they don't, then we have to have that party uh, evade. There you go. You're dead. Don't kill him. Self modification. Okay. Good. So now we can pop this. Just be careful. Oh wait, no, that's not party wide. Never mind. Um. Nullify buff. Does this stun? I'll come later, so we can't do that. Decrease attack and crit rate. We'll pop this on you, just so that you don't go away. Um, okay. I mean, I could do, actually. Even if this doesn't kill, we'll do a full combo, at least. So, sure. Sure, we'll give this a shot. Try, even. I've been recording videos all day, so I have no idea why I'm dying in terms of words. Also, first time we're seeing it? That's brutal. Like, that's actually so brutal. For what, you know, is a fairly... All of his attacks are so bloody. I get the fact that I can still have blood with like attacking like a rock or something, right? Concealed weapon, artisan, and a sail shinobi. Okay. Um, let's pop this. Pop this. 
right? Ooh, we have big Ooh, stuff nice. on you, actually. Might hold on to that, because if we got a big combo, right? Because that should deal a lot with you. So let's go, yeah, let's do one, two, or one, two, three for now, because big hundos. Yeah, that's, that's useful. Good, okay. Shadow technique. Oh, that's why we needed to get rid of you guys. Okay. We hit the stuns, that's good. Okay. And let's go one, two. We'll go. If we go three, we might get meter with you too. Right? Might be worth it. Might be worth it. Sure. Even just a bit of meter. Okay. That's a decent amount of damage. And now we do this. Yep, nice, nice, nice. You're almost done. Okay. So Izo's not been killed, but what we can do is we can do... We can do... Uh, ooh, we can go... One? Hmm. I could do... Let's do one... Two... Two... Three, sure. So we'll try our best to kill them all in one go. Probably won't, but it'd be cool if we do. You're gonna do at least 39. No. Okay, that's fine. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, and now he's gone too. Okay. Just, well, pow, pow. Okay. And. Just finish things off. That was a little bit of a spicier battle. Just a touch. Just a little spicier than I expected. Not majorly, right? But more than I expected. Because it's important to remember, there's there's spice, but there's also, like, unexpected levels of spice. If you know something spicy, you can handle it better than, than if you are surprised by the spice. Seems you can play robot games. Cool. Robot games it is. Number cut. Actually, you know what? Let's go with, let's go with you, because then you can get a big attack bonus. Uh, Noble Katsu, I'm actually gonna save you for for some time in the sun later. We'll get you and uh, let's go. Um, hmm. Have a good four. Sure, because then you can give gift to him. Sure. All right. Let's go. Robot games. Are they going to be the mechas? We dealing with the mechas? I'm always down to battle a mecha. They are. Heavy duty aircraft and light duty aircraft. Okay, so let's go with this on you. Let's go with this on you. Not a lot, but a decent start. All right. Nice. Nice. It's kind of wild that, like, I've gone this long without getting some of the, like, the final remaining staple servants, like Altera. Or, like, uh, I'm not even going to need to use Stella, huh? Might as well try and get it still, because it's fun. Um, like, I haven't got Altera. I still haven't got Heracles. Like, he's kind of the one that I really want. Because he's really cool. Right? Alright, let's blow you up. Alright, let's blow you up. Alright. Goodbye. So fast. So fast! He's gone! So funny, he just disappears. What a, what a, what a good change. You love to see it. Let's 
So. Aren't your pieces? Hey, we're getting good rewards, and apparently the rewards for the other towers, which I've heard about, are equally as good. Um, let's see here. Sure, that could be funny. Uh, although I probably won't use... Actually, you know what? Let's switch you two. Then as for a stronger one, or... Sure. This one's gonna be... I'm, I'm kind of giving myself a handicap with this one. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. God, it's nice having a good number of servants. Remember when I said I wouldn't put money into this game? Part 1. They were. High polygon, 50 hours of labor, low polygon, 5 hours of labor. That's really funny. That's hilarious. I like it. Um, let's just start with some stuff here. I would like Sasaki Kojiro to be in, uh, playable in um, Samurai Remnant, but... There are reasons why he wouldn't be, of course. So that's fine. There's a couple characters that I'm like, I just want to play as in a samurai style, you know, and people do say it's not going to be a Musou. It, it probably will be. It probably will be. And people that say it's not fail to realize that, like, at the very least, it will be similar to it, right? I mean, even I played Wo Long recently, and it's like I played that, and I'm like, you can still feel the, the the muso jank, as I like to call it. Like, there's still kind of muso jank to it, and it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Let let it never be said that I think that muso games are bad. I actually, I really want to, like, and it sucks because it's like. There's so many video games out there. I'm trying to do all the videos that I want to do. But, like, one thing I want to do is I want to do a series where I play, like, a retrospective on every Musou. Because I think it's super cool. I think all the different Musos are really neat compared to, like, you know, all the different things that set them apart. Starting from the original fighting game, you know, Dynasty Warriors, which I have. I have that one for real. And then, like, playing through all of them and, like, even some of the crossovers. I think it'd be hella cool. But, uh, that would be a lot. And also, I feel like a large number of them are only, only available through emulation now. And, like, specifically, it'll be, like, emulation of, like, the PS3, which is not the best. It's really not the best. There's better systems out there in terms of uh, emulation right now, but we'll see. A lot of them have like either PSP or Vita ports though, and I can look at those. But still, I think that'd be a really fun thing to do. Right, look at the evolution of a genre. And even look at some spin-offs by other companies. You know, when they try to make their own Dynasty Warriors. I think that'd be cool. I think that'd be really cool. But, uh, we'll see. Again, there are many, many games out there that I want to play. And stuff like an event in Grand Order is kind of... Really, along with, you know, work, jobs, and wanting to also go outside and see the world. Because... I like video games, but I also like living. I know, wild concept, right? Wanting to go outside. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Uh, I know some of you might be like, can't be me. But uh, it is It is kind of where I'm at. Um, Let's go with... We're getting to some tougher ones. We're getting to just... Oh, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll go with you. We're getting to some tougher ones. We got three very serious guys. Three incredibly serious men. Serious in different ways, though. Serious in very different ways. Miss Red Bean Paste, Mr. Shiratama. Yes, we gotta... Actually... Start with some 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 bad you do the raw. Do we have anything that gives uh meat or anything? C star gather up, we definitely don't want that. Looking for anything that's gained C stars. I don't think we got any 
for anything else. Noble Phantasm Strength, your gain, your effectiveness. Okay, although apparently, I write, if that's maxed out, then the cooldown is so short that it's free. That's what it is with that one. All right. Not the best crits on that, but that's fine. Okay, so we got a thing with you, so I will pop that with you. Pop this, why not? Do all this, and let's go one, two, three. I did find uh, Yagyu Tajima no Kami in uh, Warrior Zorochi. Uh, it's a younger version of him. Again, when we're talking about things I want to do, I still want to, want to do that video where I'm like, I'm going to compare. But I, the, one of the reasons why I'm playing a lot of Warriors of Rochi is because I need to unlock a lot of the uh, the stuff that I want to talk about. But it's like, I want to look at, okay, let's compare. How are the servants compared to the Warriors versions? How are the servants compared to the SMT versions, right? Like, what parts of the myths are consistent? What parts of the myth are different? I feel like those would be really cool things that I will need to do when I have no work and instead have time to just chill out and, you know, make what I want. But right now I have work, which is fine. I get paid really well and can do what I want with the money, including spending it on rolls or any products I want. So that's all fine. Uh, survival game shop. Okay. Survival game. Let's go with... Uh, let's see here. Like! You don't use his voice anymore for me, man! And we'll go with, um... Sure. And we'll go with, uh... I don't have many... I only have the three uh, five-star Lancers, so we'll go with, uh, sure. Okay. Okay. Bit of a motley crew, but let's go. Let us see what we got. I don't even really get the idea of survival games. It's a bit weird. Beginner selecting a gun, expert shooting to... Yeah, it's like, I think it's specifically meant to be people who do like airsoft, you know, or like paintball style stuff. I don't know. I'm pretty anti-gun. I just, I don't find joy in them. I got made fun of in school because I didn't know about guns. The kids were like, bro, you don't know. Like, I didn't know. Like, I literally, I went to school. And I didn't know what a grenade was. And that was there like, oh, Tanner doesn't know what a grenade is. I'm like, yeah, I don't know what a grenade is. Like, where would I learn? Where would a child learn about a grenade? Like, I was literally innocent to the world, right? So because of that, you know, I got made fun of. And then I kind of grew to resent it. I'm like, war and stuff is stupid. While all the other kids were playing Call of Duty 1, you know, here I am experiencing Final Fantasy V on the PS1. I think I had the better life. But that's just me. Fossil laser scope. Okay. Uh, let's do... Yep. Let's do that. Yep. I don't think we need that with you. Uh, gain? Well, we can see about looping. Right, we can then pop this. We can pop this. Right, does that work for everyone? For all allies, yes. Okay, so let's go one, two, three. Okay. This should do a butt ton of damage. Uh, an incredible amount of damage. I'm expecting a ridiculous amount of damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How much? Mm -hmm. That's a lot. Thank you. Okay. So. Let's finish this off with. Just as much as we can. 
There we go. Nice. Well, we've hit the next story section. Hey, bond up. Cool. I mean, that's that's the point that I'm using the one craft essence there. All right. What do we have for this one? Saber Monument. A cafe full of services. We're we talking like services. Oh, the battle you... Oh, it's one of these. All right. Interesting. Is it going to be deciding whether we want to go to a maid cafe or a, or a butler cafe? Because I'm picking the maid cafe. You can't stop me. That is my life. Maid cafes are wholesome, though. They are actually really nice. There's nothing sexual about... Yeah. Oh, my God. This looks exactly like maid dreaming. Hold up this. Okay. Like, I'm talking about the layout, not so much the how it's kind of put up. But it really looks like the one I went to. Oh my god, the one in Akihabara. Yeah, I got my picture right here taken with the maid. It's in my wallet always, uh, just to show people. When they're like, so you're a fan of anime? And I'm like, yeah. They're like, prove it. And I take out and show that picture. And they go, oh, wow, okay. Me doing ya yeah, kitty hands with a maid. Here you go, master. And here you go, ladies. Now please relax and enjoy your stay in ya. Like, actually, and and I feel like this is a thing that is really not, like, if you've not been to one, you don't understand that it is entirely non-sexual. It's just nice. It's just a place with cute girls, and they're cute. It's not like Hooters, right? They're just cute, and they give you nice service. I literally mean it. They actually will, like, come and uh, try to talk to you, at least. One of them, you try to use a translator for me. Um, and when I just say, like, sorry, English, you know, they'll they'll use as much as they know, right? And, like, it works out. It works out really nice. And the food is good. The best, the best ramen I had in Japan was at a maid cafe. R legit. It was pink. And, like... It was so good. It's sort of like how like a fast food burger might be taste better than a uh, expensive, like nicely done one. It's the same sort of thing. So go to a maid cafe, uh, legitimate. You will be shocked at how surprisingly wholesome. And the nice thing is like there was a bunch of kids in there and the kids were being called like, you know, uh, basically, uh, you know, Hime-sama for the girls. And uh, they called whatever Prince was, I forget, but it's like, yeah, right, like, it's wholesome. Man, I haven't had a root beer float in ages. You impressed me once again, Master. While I was busy trying to work out why the maids here dress and talk like cats, you just started enjoying your drink without batting an eye. You can't come to Akihabara without visiting one of the cafes. They're one of its trademarks. My whole princess identity has kind of faded into the background ever since I came to Caldea. You've already got, like, so many princesses there, so it's not really as special. And the whole thing about, like, the, the princess otaku, that's a whole... That's a whole thing but here i'm still technically a princess right and that's a thing because they call you princess when you come in it's adorable the fact she said technically there really doesn't help her case mm -hmm. well uh, being waited on hand and foot by beautiful maidservants is of course nothing new for me there's indeed something agreeable about this place i actually used to live in an apartment that looked a lot like this but it feels pretty different when it's open for business honestly it's a little hard for me to relax here <sighs> I feel the same way. Maybe just because I'm not used to the, uh, culture. And actually, speaking of culture... Look at all these actual sprites. robo made. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised at this point to see moving dolls working here, too. The other customers don't seem to think anything of them, so I guess they're just a fact of life here. They almost look as though they were made to work here. I suppose that's just one more criterion by which to judge a creator's skill. That's very fizzy. Oh, is cream soda not your thing? If you like, I can trade you my orange juice for it. Don't worry, I haven't touched it yet. I haven't put my lips all over it. You won't get my cooties on your marble skin. No, that's all right. I was just surprised because I've never had anything like this before. These bubbly drinks are strange, but very tasty. Do we tell her about how it would, like, brutally erode marble? At any rate, there's one thing in particular we need to confirm right now. Maybe one of the, um, maids can help us. Um, excuse me, can I ask you something? 
Meow, sorry. You need a ticket to talk to a cast member, meow. That is a thing. That is a thing. Oh, uh, no, I didn't mean like that. We were told there's an event here where we can earn lots of points. And that's all there is to it. It might be kind of tough, but that also means you get lots of points. And this event's always going, so just let us, one of us know if you'd like to try it, meow. If you find you enjoy it, you could even start working here yourselves, which would be awesome. Then the rest of us can finally cut back on our hours and... Okay, but this was real. This was so real. One of my favorite moments when I went to Akihabara was going to this maid dreaming, right? And I see a maid who's like, you know, uh, you know, Goshijin-sama, right? She's like, she's all cute. And then I see her walk in the back. And about five minutes later... I see the most depressed looking college student walk out, the frumpiest, most depressed. It was the same person. But let me tell you, once that all came off, I was like, oh, that's the reality. Also, that's the reality too. I mean, never mind. This event definitely isn't a way to try and recruit new employees. Mia ha ha. Well, bye. I see. I never would have guessed this event was a made off. So to compete, we have to work as mates here ourselves for a set length of time. When we're done, the customers vote for a winner and we get points if we beat the girls who work here. That is tough. We need to have to have a natural knack for this job. We'll never be able to beat the, uh, well, pros who work here. Jeez, if only we had someone who was already dressed as a maid. Yeah, I know just who to call. I know a couple. If we can get Tremau, perfect. If we can get... Uh, Tamamo Cat? Perfect. Those are the two I can think of. Obviously, there's two more maids that I would want to get in, but they're sadly not in yet. We'll have to call in our own Pro Maids. Pro Maids is my favorite Studio Trigger movie. Yep. Don't worry, this cat's got it in the bag, woof. I've never been here before, of course, but my killer personality techniques will still knock them dead. That's it, I'm afraid I'll have to address other people as master for a while, master. That's the one rule no maid cafe can break, after all. What's more, cats are naturally fickle creatures, especially when catnip's involved. Oh, right, how could I forget about you? The Yeah, right, that flew over my head. As the greatest maid in the world, I of course made it a point to only serve those I deem worthy. But under these circumstances, I suppose I can play along. And I do mean play, for I will not be taking this work seriously. I also expect to be fully compensated. My usual fee will do. You still have the number to my Swiss bank account. Yes, you have a Swiss bank account? Oh, right. Okay. Forgot about Dayon, right? I went to Tremau personally. You want me to do this too? I mean, I do have some service industry skills thanks to my espionage work, but still. That's weird. I know they should not be up to the task, but I can't shake this uneasy feeling I have. Well, we know they have the skills, so we'll just have to trust to that to be enough to carry them through this. I kept saying Tremal, but in case you don't know, that's the maid who's like the Terminator 2 bubble person that's with, uh, that's with Rhinus. Because you might be like, not as into fate as I am, and you might be like, who the frick are you talking about? There's no servant called Tremal. Yeah, that's who it is. So, just, just letting you know. <laughs> you guys do seem like you know what you're doing, but being a maid at a maid cafe is a whole other ball game. What she said. Don't think that just being maids alone would be enough to beat us. Oh man, they sound really confident. Get them, girls! Oh, I will. Worry not. Now, which target do I take out first? I'm starting to get really worried about this. Welcome back, Master! Would you like to scratch my fluffy ears, squeeze my toe beans, or maybe fluff my fur? Alright, this cafe is strictly hands-off, so never mind. In the meantime, how about starting with a nice cold menu, woof? The rule of this cafe is drink or die. If you value your life, make sure to start with one of our more expensive drinks. Food? Do not be ridiculous. Every bite of oil you consume detracts that from your lifespan. Be, con be content with moderation, or my trigger finger may get itchy. Well, this is nice. I'm not sure it qualifies as good, but it's definitely novel. She's so wild, I can't tell if she's a dog or a cat. And a cold-blooded hitman, huh? I've definitely never seen anything like them before. Ha. Huh. Looks like customers actually digging it? And I think the advice I gave Dayan is working, too. Uh, here's the cake set you ordered, ladies. And, um, 
the secret ingredient is all my love. But let's keep this between us, okay? We don't want the manager finding out after all. This is it! A beautiful boy disguising himself as a woman, and I'm the only one who knows his secret. It's just like I always dreamed. Oh, this is bad, this is bad, but it's so good. I know I shouldn't, but I can't help it, huh? So which is it, good or bad? Anyway, I wasn't sure what to make of Osaka Behima's advice when she told me to play up my masculine side, but the customers really do seem to like it. Okay, so Dayon is in masculine mode. But specifically masculine mode. Cross-dressing as a female. That's powerful. Gender fluidity is insane. Fascinating. I feel like I could learn a lot how to better manipulate people from this. <laughs> okay. All right. So, does it seem like they can win then? Ah, uh, well. Okay, here comes the happiness spell. Akiba Lovehurt. I'm so happy I live alone now. Thanks for coming, everyone. I'm so glad I got to see you. I hope you have lots and lots of fun with us today. Oh, yeah, you bet we will. That's a chance of fact we're fighting them on their home turf. Novelty will gain us some ground, but I just don't think it'll be enough to bring home a win. Is there anything we can do? What do you think, Machan? Um... Think trying to beat them at their own game is a losing battle. We need to do the best with what we've got. That's not the, the one that changes it. You're right. Yosh, let's bring in more reinforcements. We need to play this game on Kalia's terms. In fact, I had a feeling this might happen, so I've had our secret weapon on standby. Whether it's combat, catering, or anything else in the end, the only things you can really trust are tried and true techniques and your inner state of mind. A battle between maids is a battle of hospitality to see who can best win over the customer's Kokoro. And we happen to know one of the top hospitality pros in the business. In fact, you say she's the ultimate Japanese maid. Okay, you're going to go with Benny Enma, right? Right? That's who we're going with? Yep. Me, chirp. Yeah, that's right, Miss Benny. We mean a whole lot to us if you're going to help us out here. She must be serious. She's practically begging. She's acting like a whole different person. I, I don't want to pressure you, but it would be a really big help. All right, Master. Customer service usually isn't supposed to be competitive, but if you need my help, I can't turn you down. Besides, if they lose, it would reflect badly on Kaldia's hospitality as a whole, and I certainly can't have that chirp. Huh? Yes! Between her girlish looks, her classic uniform, her Jigoku hospitality, this Madoff's as good as ours. Sorry, kid, but I can't let you work in. I got lies against child labor, you know? What? No! Ah! <laughs> Curse your labor laws! Frack. Oh, in that case, we'll have to call in another helper. Really? Do you know of another maid who can both bolster our chances and be here at a moment's notice? Who could it be? Here we go. Bodica's maternal instincts. Black-haired twister. Galatea. I don't trust Galatea. Who's the black-haired twister? Oh, right! She is a maid! Oh my god! I also forgot that she's here! Uh, you want me to be a maid? It really does feel like a school festival here. It brings back a lot of memories. And this is her job! She works at a... Alright, Master, if that's what you want. I want everyone to go, Who is this? Do... Do... do who? Or, or they're like, Master, do you see someone? Master, who are you talking to? I love the idea that Fujino's just in our head. I don't know if it'll be any good at this, but I'll do the best I can. That's, that's great. I really like that. I really like that uh, you... Oh, also, yeah, you're good for this. Yeah, no, I do really like that we get to actually use you for your whole thing. I remember when people were freaking out and saying that she, like, never was in the game story, and yet, you know, here she is again. It's kind of good. I'm very happy. Figuring made regular customer. Alright, so let's leave the... Ooh, actually. It's time for puppy power! Da-da-da-da-da-da! 
One of the weirdest voice choices, but it's the it's the only way I can read her dialogue. Honestly. Like, it, it is Tamamo's voice actress just going buck wild, but there's no way I can do that. And I feel like that's the thing we need to realize. I can't do that. So I need to come up with my own very original take on, you know, this here. Yeah, so we'll do some of this. Yeah, yeah then I'll finish you off. Okay. It is kind of cool we get to fight you here on this turf. I like that. Yo, he's eating Odin. I see that at the convenience stores here all the time. Odin's cool. It's a neat concept. Just like a bunch of boiling things in a pot. Grab what you want. Quiet black haired maid. I wanted her to tease me. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. Let's see here. If this kills, maybe we'll get a special thing. Good. Was that good? Hmm. We'll see. Okay. Maybe we do need to go for them. Hmm. Decrease charging and invincible. We don't need that. Okay. Let's do some of this. That's not going to kill. Oh, dang, it did. Yeah, good. Okay, so they like they like her. That's good. All right. And Tamamo has enough here, actually, for this. And we can even do this to gain the invincible for the next turn, too. Shall we have a mid-afternoon sleep? Let's do this. Do a do big nappy. Another one that's brutal. God, the way she says that is incredible. Good heal. And yeah, if you pop that before, you're invincible during it, so that's great. Still immobile, though. Um, so let's go one, two... Let's go three. Yeah, just as much damage as possible. Okay. I wonder why specifically they let you sort of pick the mate. Is it just for fun shenanigans on, ooh, which one are you going to get? Or is, is will there actually be deeper changes, right? I don't know. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this. We'll do this. Right? So we'll try and do one, two... She will do one to kill, and then two, three. Yeah, we'll do as much as we can. Okay. And then... Nice. Cool. That was fun. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. So close to... Not really anything other than a big increase in my AP, which I don't actually need, but... Okay. So, how did I do? I hope it's okay that I ended up coldly glaring and threatening to twist some customers who wouldn't leave me alone. That was actually giving them exactly what they wanted? Oh, I see. Here's a real nail biter, but hey, at least you won. Way to go. Who the frick are you? Yes, it's amazing that you managed to outdo professional maids on their home turf. I don't know how much credit we can take, since the challenge only lasted for a short time compared to the maid shifts, I think we didn't have, the, uh, have to save our energy as much. Agreed. To be honest, I'm not sure we would have won if there had been a little more time on the clock. It's a good thing you called in those reinforcements as quickly as you did, Master. I'm just glad I didn't uh, keep a close eye on all of you during the contest for nothing. Chirp! That really helped to keep everyone on their toes! What Master said, Woof. We all know what we had to be. We had to be on the best behavior with Miss Benny Enma watching us. It's a good thing you called on me instead of my original. The most she could have done under Miss Benny's watchful gaze is freeze up with her tail sticking out. Like, you know, in a cartoon when they see a hot woman and the tail goes boing, boing, boing. That's what she's like. Like an erection. Oh, that's tough to say with a lisp. A erection. There you go. Sounds like it was a very hard-fought victory, then. Yes, it does, and our opponents don't seem all that troubled by their loss, either. 
At least, if that bubbly constellation party they're throwing is any indication. They're loving it. I bet they're getting a bunch of additional ores out of this. And of course, if they had won, they would be holding a victory party instead. So this is how the house always wins. Something wrong? No, I was just looking at the doll mixed in with the people. Yeah, it's, it's there. It's a cute design, honestly. Oh yeah, I didn't even realize that I've stopped finding dolls like that unusual. It still feels weirdly natural, even though I know in my head this kind of thing could only happen in this singularity. There's something else I've been wondering about. Did someone used to love that doll? Or did the King of Finger Figures simply decide to give her life and send her out into town? Why not ask? They certainly seem to be in a talkative mood. Amu, you there, manager. Answer my questions. Uh, she's a spitting image of Nero, isn't she? Her? Yeah, I heard she was born at the King of Figures' place. I'd say it's probably true for most of the dolls around Akihabara. Bringing one you love to see the King of Figures and having a maid uh, and having to make her humans a nice idea and all. But it sounds like it's real tough to actually make that happen. I do hear a bunch of guys have made it to life's ambition to get up there and see him. But I see most getting carried off to the hospital after trying and failing to make the way up his tower. So this King of Figures is sending hundreds of living dolls to this town. And is conditioning the people here to accept this state of affairs as natural. Why would he do such a thing? What could he be thinking? I do not know. Which is all the more reason for us to meet with and ask. Meet with him and ask. Do not worry. Every step brings us closer to him. Yes, that's true. I'm sure all will be clear once we meet with him. And do not forget, we can always capture that imposter of mine and make her talk as well. Hmm? Why are you smiling? Did I send you something? Yeah, you said imposter. That's sus. Uh. No, it's just that whenever I look at you, I find myself smiling. You are always so cheerful. I apologize if my doing so has made you uncomfortable. Please, she loves people smiling at her. And that is quite all right. I am the Emperor of the Red Rose, after all. I am renowned in all of Rome for my ability to cure any malady. The afflicted need only lay eyes on me to be so. By all means, continue to shower me with adoration. No, I take it back. We're not doing this. Like, oh. Okay. All right. Oh, now we get part two. This will now be at the arcade, I'm guessing? Is it going to be we go to the last one and see some servants hanging out? Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, I've seen many students over the course of my life, and, uh, to, and to teach them effectively, the first thing I need to develop was a keen eye. Though children have almost limitless potential, they cannot master all the possibilities within their mortal lifespans. And so I had to learn how to quickly discern what a particular child was good at. Things such as what natural talents they held, what aptitudes they possessed, how they would change as they grew, and what manner of teaching they would best respond to. Though, of course, the child's own wishes played the largest part in informing what sort of person they would ultimately grow up to become. But I digress. My point is, as far as I can tell, uh, number five and number eight appear to be solid bets. <laughs> Are you sure about that? As Lu Wu, I may have left most of my personal assessments to self-destructed tactician in chief, but uh, what I may lack in discernment, I make up for my wild nature. My sideways unfeeling rather than logic in my intellectual grasp of situations speaks far louder than words. That's me trying to do a horse voice. Are they talking about horse betting? All my feelings and instincts are telling me that with those determined eyes, powerful limbs, and gallant gait, numbers three and six are definitely the way to go. Far be it for me to deny your method of ascertainment. Indeed, I find it fascinating. Still, the fact remains that regardless of what we say, only the fates know the outcome. All we can do now is wait and see what happens. That's for sure. Here goes. It's a close game right out of the gate. Oh, but what's this? One of them is already falling behind. <laughs> what? My calculation said that the one coin would go all the way, well, uh, would go that way, well, another went this way, which was supposed to cause a coin avalanche that would cause me to put me on easy street. Then I was going to laugh haughtily while mocking these ignorant fools. In fact, I've already started the laughing part. This can only be the malicious prank of some other low-minded divinity. 
Well, you can't beat me that easily. I'm gonna win that stack of coins even if it costs me every dollar I already have. Besides, the more I put in, the more I'm bound to get back. That's just logic. Check more logic. It can't be. I was so close. So tantalizingly close. Another ten, no, five coins, and I'm sure that fat stack of them would be mine. I overheard the whole thing. Who's there, meow? I'm here on behalf of the Caesar coin blending backing harbor of branch. We can lend you as many coins as you need, whenever you need them, without any pesky guarantors or guarantees slowing things down. All you need to do is sign the contract and we're gonna be on, on your way. Well, what do you say? Yikes. Um, no, no, thanks. Now, now, all I ask is for a moment of your time. I understand your concerns, but think of it like this. Any concerns you may have now about taking on debt will surely vanish when we hit the jackpot, won't they? Why, just imagine how it would feel when you finally knock down that tower and claim all those shiny coins for yourself. What's a little compound interest next to that kind of pure joy? Whoa, so this is what being drawn into a spider's web feels. Stop that, coin lending is against the rules. But I was just running a little social <laughs> This is a social experiment, bro. It's not real. I swear, you lot are even more stubborn than my old senators. Oh, I didn't think a guy that big could book it that fast. I uh, come back. Well, guess I've got no choice. I'll just have to prowl the floor for every stray coin I can find. Do not do that. Yeah, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. These bleeping and blooping things aren't the kind of games I was expecting to find here. I was expecting to find fighting games featuring me in a shirt that improves my design. Are they not your thing? What a strange combination. Oh, it's not that. Video games are still games. I've played them with Lady Batty numerous times. I especially like the ones where you get to cut off your enemies' heads. You can never have too many opportunities to do that. Okay, she likes Mortal Kombat. Why am I not surprised? But something about this spirit origin always takes me back to the time I spent training on Mount Karama. Maybe that's why I gravitate towards more physically active games. The kind of game where you move your body until you're gasping for breath, you can feel the delectable sensation of your heart pounding and that glorious ache in your muscles. That's what I consider to be a true game right now. I see, in that case, why don't we try this? Huh? I don't see any blinking lights or screens on it. It looks like a fairly ordinary table. <laughs> I get it. You want to arm wrestle? Fine with me. What? No, why would you even think about challenging dainty prepubescent girls to a contest of pure strength? It's an air hockey table. The object of the game is to... Oh, now I see. That Yes, it does sound like something I'd enjoy. Let's give it a shot. Sure, but what do we do about teams? We can play doubles once Miu gets back with the drinks, but right now we only have three players. Well, since Ushiwakawara has ever played before, why don't you uh, Why don't you join your team and we play two-on-one? Ilya, you're a normal girl and that's two servants pretty much. You're going to get destroyed. I guess we could do that, though she's still way more athletic than either of... Shut up. You cloned yourself! There, a little Tengu shadow cloning and we can all play on equal ground. You really didn't have to go that far. Oh, but I do. I swore back on Mount Kurama that I would always take my playtime seriously. Otherwise, it wouldn't be good training. Besides, I would hate to waste a chance for us to play together on an unfair fight. Now, let's play some doubles. Uh, okay. I don't see why not. Alright, let's do this. Oh my god, shut up. That's such a good use of the of that's such a good use of the effect. How are you so fast? No need to hold back on my account, you two. I'm starting to get the hang of this. Damn, she means business. Ilya, I say go ahead and do your secret transformation now. Huh? Why? I mean, I know my hand-eye coordination isn't keeping up, but still. Well, that's part of it, but another part is you just aren't strong enough to return her shots. So you might just need to boost your strength with magical girl power. Oh, but we don't want the puck to go flying too far and hit a random stranger. Uh, so let's put up a bounded field after we powered ourselves up. Really? We have to go that far? Someone once, someone once told me to always be careful when facing a serious Genji. Honestly, we still may not be going far enough. I just hope we can walk away from this intact when it's over. Mm, this is fun. It feels like we're all batting away arrows on a battlefield. Miss one, you might lose an eye. Miss two, you might lose the use of your arms or a valued subordinate. Okay, now I'm in the right mindset. Here goes. Be ready, Ilya. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I 
forgot that you're just here now too. Man, the design for Taira no Kagekyo in um in uh, Warriors Orochi is buck wild. It's a crazy design. I love it. Hey, another no strings. I have no strings to hold me down. Da, da, da. Reindeer Cafe. Main cafe is unlocked. Might as well throw some people in there. Let's see here. Let's see. Throw in you. Okay. We'll throw in just our most powerful ones that we want to use again. Definitely you. Of course he loves the arcade. Man's a gamer. Um, you're useful. Hobby shop. We'll go, uh, you're useful. All right, cool. So, let's go to a reindeer cafe. So for this, we need, well, let's grab your cheap. We grab you and someone who works really well with stars. Let's see here. I mean, if we have a crit beast, right? That's that's kind of what I want is I want a crit beast. I mean, honestly, I could go with you and just do something crazy. Is there anyone else who's really good for buffing? Let's see. Don't you do that? Am I crazy? So you have rapid casting, elemental, increase arts card effectiveness, NP gain. Nah, that's not really what I want. Um, I could just go with a low ranking. Uh, yeah, go with like you. Because it's not like you're going to be doing too much there anyway. So we'll, we'll just g give you a bunch of stars and you can just pa 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 Be cool. Just pa pa. I like making noises. I think I've officially gone from like, like I was tired and now I'm going over into, into more. Only chicken, only chicken, wild. Um, let's just pop this as well as this to gain a few more. Yep. And we'll go one, two, three for now. Okay. Ooh, that didn't do nearly as much as I expected. Dang, okay. Wow, okay, that's what we're doing. Sure. Let's do this. Let's also pop this. Right, because then you got, yeah, that's big stuff on there. Okay, and we'll go one, two, three. Okay, big damage. Decent. Okay. Alright, and... Pop that. That. One, two, three. Probably gonna kill everyone regardless, but just in case. Alright. I forgot that it removes attack buffs. It's very good. Wow, that didn't actually. These guys are getting pretty bulky. Okay. Rip. Okay. Finishes off, buddy. Boy, you need an animation update. Boy, you need an animation update. Ridiculously need an animation update. You need to be put to the same level as Salieri. Right? Like, Salieri, I know, is pretty much meant to be like Amadeus Alter, kind of. Kind of, not really, but kind of, right? It was kind of established as that, and so you can kind of see the connection. But, like, at the same time, you need to get an animation update to that same level. Like, for real. They might. It's possible. A spy goods shop? Is this is this the real Spy X family? Is that what we're doing? Are we mixing spies and families? So we can do a four-star with you. Let's go, uh... Let's see. Who do we want? Sure. And again, we can start using some more powerful ones just to get them in use. Um, 
Mm, again, you're not great, but we'll you'll at least do more damage, so we'll do that with you. We can even switch over to using two of them, right, for even more. Might as well. Yeah, the attack up is pretty good, though. We'll do this to get the two of them, right? Sure. Sure, we'll do that. Okay. Because it's more damage up anyways. All right. What are we dealing with? Remote drones, which, yeah, drones, that's something I see everywhere here. Wolf type trackers. There's so many people using just drones. It's wild, actually. Um, let's just go one. Ooh, that's a lot, though. You know what? Let's... Let's do that on you just to get some big damage. Because we got that, that big amount on you. Never mind. It must have redistributed them. Never mind. That's fine. Pop this. Okay. Okay, let's go... One, two, three. Okay. Uh, just under. Just under from being able to do some cool stuff, so we'll just do... You know what, let's go one, two, three. That should be enough to gain enough meter to at least do a super after this. Right, yeah, we can, and then that'll be good. Okay. Finish this off. We'll go... Nope. What about this? Hey, I'll, I'm kind of happy that we're not attracting dogs. That would be weird. That would be messed up. I don't like that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy if that's the case. Something, something white women, am I right? I mean, I've made the joke before. Only because other people make it. But, uh, yeah, okay, there we go. Wow! Wow! This is a way to get a lot of bond points. That's a way to get a lot. Uh, maybe we will double up the other uh, thing. Or even just have a character in the back who's also just doing more. Because, oh my god, okay, yeah. We'll see about using just even more to get even more bond points, because, yeah, an avant-garde ice cream shop. Okay. Maybe I will switch it off. Ah, but the 40% attack is still good. The extra... Mm, but the bond points... The bond points are one and done. I'll take a little bit extra working on them for the extra bond points, so, yeah. Okay. Um, so we can get some... Low rankers here. Let's see. You're pretty good. And then at this point, again, we're I'm starting to get tired. Right? I'm going to need to call it after a little bit. So as such, I am gonna use some some strong servants here that can use some stuff. Um We'll also go. See, but I, I wanna I wanna make sure I at least have a couple of these guys for if I get a very tough challenge, like one of the challenge rooms there. So maybe I won't go all the way. Um, who do we got? We got you two? Okay. In that case, sea stars on you. If we could give someone else who gives a bunch of sea stars, that would be useful. Don't you do that? Don't you specifically do that? You enchant the buster. You gain meter and sea, sea star drop. Sure. Let's go with Shakespeare. Let's sh sh shake things up with Shakespeare. Why not? I love Shakespeare. I do. His works are great. They're like, you read them and you're like, oh, this is weird. And then you really read them and you're like, oh no, this is good. Frappe golems and chocolate frappe golem. Oh, and that's going to give a bunch of stars to start off too. That's very good. That'll be very useful. 
Uh, in fact, we can get even more if we do this, and now you'll have up full hundreds, right? Yes, good. Uh, and then we can pop this, and we can go... So I don't want to tack up, per se. But I want, just let's see here, debuff, defense, okay, yeah, so we'll pop some of that. Alright, let's just start with this. Big damage. Yep. Nice. Good little start. Yeah, the being able to burst a bunch of stars at the start, getting 30 stars to start off with is quite nice, actually. So we will definitely use that. Um, how much do you give? A good amount. Uh, so let's go... Humu. Okay. All right. Soften. Okay. I'm gonna pop this. I'm actually gonna go one to kill you, and then two, three to kill the next one. Okay. Do your cool thing. It's cool. It's always cool. My man's cool. And this will definitely kill. Yep. All that's left is a strawberry. Strawberry is a good flavor. Just in general. You can never go wrong. People that are like, I don't like the fruit for, vet for dessert. I'm like, I don't get you. I'm going to be real, Chief. I think fruit is the best dessert flavor. I think fruit is best as a dessert. It's true. I mean, you're, 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 it's okay with you disagree. But I just, that's how I feel. Yeah, this is, this is worth getting that, because that's a lot of bonus. That's a lot of bonus. It's a plus, it's double. It's double. Why would I not? Again, is it, is it less efficient? Yeah. But I don't care, it's better for bond up. All right. A Shinsengumi good shop. All right. Get to beat up some Shinsengumi. I have not had the chance to play um Yakuza the 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 like a dragon Ishin. I should. I should. But uh, unfortunately, it is not something that I have the time right now to play because there's so ma there's so many games. There's games for days, right? So it's fine. One day I'll have more time to play it, right? And plus, it's a Yakuza game. It'll go on sale. I'm still gonna call them Yakuza even though they're not that anymore. But like, I'll I will absolutely have time to to play that later when it goes on sale. I mean, I played most of the games way long after they came out, so... Okay, playing with the product, the manager. That's fun. Um, let's go with this up on you. Right, we can do this up for yourself. Alright, so let's see here. Isn't there... Increased buff rate for Ilya allies. Yep, that's you. We can do... I don't need that on you. Right? Chance to restore HP each turn? Well, that'll be good for you, because then we can get that going. Increase crit strength. It's just, that's all for yourself. I wonder if he, Osaka Behima counts as a child. Let's see. Nope. Again, there is a list out there. It is wild, some of the choices on there. And it's, again, not... It's not children, but it's specifically who Ilya sees as a child. Which leads to some weird stuff, and including differences depending on sometimes for ascensions. Like how Kama first ascension counts, right? Like it's it's wild. It's it's a weird skill. And there's actually not only that, there are costumes that will affect that in the future too. Like as in like um certain um, certain costumes will change certain things. Um, I can specifically think of there is the costume for Okita Alter that changes her gender, and that is a, a thing with that, right? I think that's really interesting, um, that that is a gameplay feature. You would think they would go with costumes being, you know, not affecting gameplay for obvious reasons, because that's normally how it is. But no, they're 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 allowing not only the ascension but the costume will now start to affect gameplay. That's kind of cool. I like that. 
small thing, but it sort of takes it to a, you know, you might be like, oh, but that removes the player's sort of choice. But I don't know. It gives you some reason to want to pick certain ones. And I think that's cool. Right? And it makes sense. It makes sense why it would be like that. Okay. There we go. What are we at? What number are we at? I'm not even paying attention. I'm just chilling. Uh, there is a monograph of fairy tales. Um, is that a... Is that a ploy kickshaw reference? It's not. But my god, I'm going to be insufferable for that for a while. And I apologize. I really do. Like, honestly, you don't get how bad I'm going to be for this. Let's go with Karen. Why not? Let's use Devil Karen. Devil Karen. And actually, you know what? Let's switch those around. Yeah. There we go. You're maxed out. We don't need more with you. Because <sighs> I, I know for a fact that ploy kickshaws are like the least reference things. So because of that, I'm going to be like, I'm going to be that guy. Every time something comes up, I'm going to be like, is that, is that a ploy kickshaw reference? Bro, is that, is that, is that, is that a freaking ploy kickshaw reference? And it's never going to be. It's never going to be. God, Salome only has 7,000 HP. Are you serious? Like the squishiest servant. You might as well be like a slug in a... A slug in a salt factory. Like, jeez. Just like one small thing and you're just imploding. Wait, Anderson's story is actually messed up. Uh, collection of stories to read to children. Yeah, Anderson's stories are a little messed up, but that's just how they are. What is this? Oh, that's debuff immune. Pop this. Pop this. I forgot about your Dance of Seven Veils as a gameplay gimmick, too. Forgot about that. It's time to, like, not used you. The plates. Alright. Oof. Right, so that does... Non-stackable. Remove one defense deep. Remove one defense buff. Okay. God, how weird your gameplay is. Just in general. You're probably gonna die soon unless I heal you too. Let's go one, two, three. Yeah, that just won't kill. Then again, not a lot of ours is. It really feels like we're just... Not very powerful. Okay. You get tired of it? No. So with you, we can go with this. And with you, we can just buff you up to get enough. Yeah. So let's do Bayard, Femme Fatale, and then Agape. All right. Stab the boyo. I love how it's just like, yo, what if you were a dragon and my sword fights dragons? And that's it. That's what it is. And this is just, this is just what if there was a giant skeleton behind you and the skeleton grew bigger and it ate you. Wouldn't that be messed up? And this is... What if your mum became a baby? Just a massive baby. That's it. We can break down noble phantasms into, like, the Black Mirror guy. Just every time. That's all they have to be. So I don't think there's any actual changes to her animations with this, is there? I don't think so. I think it's just mostly just a color palette change. And a name change. And who knows, actually, maybe that will affect the alignment, too. That's a possibility. Yeah, look at that. Dang. Dang. Okay, so...
get here. More blaze with- I don't need these. I have no servants. Battle tank. Nice. Tanks. 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 So, okay, this is gonna suck. Uh, because it's riders only, and, like, we have to fight riders, if I'm correct. No! Oh, no, this is fine, actually. I thought it was gonna be if I had to fight riders with, with riders, and that'd be annoying. But, no, this should be fine. Uh, and then for our attacker, we'll go... Ah, we'll go with you. Why not? Why not? We'll, we'll make it easier for us. All right. Let's go. Battle tanks. Anyone used to watch like Robot Wars? You know, there were there was battle bots, but there was also Robot Wars. And when I really wanted to get foreign, I remember I watched Robotica, which was the British one where they had, they were like driving through panes of glass. That was cool. That was really cool. I loved watching all those shows as a kid. All these just like, you know, robots doing robot things. Just fun. It still is, honestly. And I'm happy that like, unlike most television, that's one that like stayed around as like, no, that's real television. It's not like, um, you know, reality TV where, or like when they did like the real life, real steel tournament, that was like super fake, right? Um, no, it, I, I much prefer the fact that they, these were absolutely real robots that were just battling each other. And that's just like, what What else do you need? What else do you need? Just real robots fighting each other. That's, that's television. That's entertainment. Remember when they did the freaking mecha fight? Japan versus the US, and it was like heavily scripted and super lame. Biggest disappointment of my life. When they're like, yeah, we're having a Japan, the first like Japan versus US walking mecha battle. It's like, wow, this should be awesome. And then it ended up being the worst. I will hold that as up there with Kangaroo Jack for the worst things that have ever happened to me. And I, that is really sad. My life is not that bad considering, but. So we're gonna go, I'm gonna go uh, one, two to gain meter with you. And then through, cause yours attacks everyone, right? Bellerophona hits everyone. I'm gonna double check. Yes, to all enemies. I'm just double checking, right? Cause we'll, we'll do that. We'll do it. one, two, three. I just need enough to gain 80. Thank you. Oh, that's all the way. Even better. I think her initial costume is still the best one. Like, legit. The sort of sexy Final Ascension costume, I think, is worse. Yeah. I also think her, like, Tron outfit is kind of lame. In, uh, Excella there. Tiger Tank. Tiger Tank. Alright. Wow, the tank is eyes. Didn't expect that. Let's see Tarask. And this, and this. Okay. Let's see. How much are we doing? Goodbye. Almost. But the good thing is you're stunned. So rip to you in particular. Man, I remember like getting Martha at kind of early and thinking she's kind of generic. Like I remember getting to her and like I was like I don't know about her, but then like in terms of the game making characters be endeared to me. Like, a lot of these characters, I'm now like, yo, Martha. Whenever I see now Fate Martha, I'm like, yo, that's Fate Martha. There's a couple that I'm still, like, kind of iffy on. But for the most part, I can firmly say almost every servant, I, like, at least really enjoy parts of them, right? Oh my god, are we doing VR stuff? A VR Chambara trial facility. Okay. Okay. So we need some casters. 
again, I'm going to be heading to bed in not too long, so we can use just a bunch here. Um, sure. Team Magical Girls. Right? Here they go. Off to be Magical Girls. Let's see how they do. Enemy avatar, player avatar. Okay. So start with the player avatar, obviously, because they're going to be a problem. Start with this. Can we poison you? Yes. Poison everyone. I should power that up. I really should. Okay. She has good animations too, man. It's like, it, it is nice to, again, get some time to appreciate some of the animations that I don't see too, too often. Um, does this give to someone? Or is that to yourself? That's for yourself. Okay. Wow, that's also a lot. But not as much, surprisingly, as your mentor. Okay, so let's go. Uh, is that for everyone? Does everyone become pigs? Single enemy, okay. One, two, three. All right. How you gonna do? How you gonna do? It has become a pig. Will we kill the pig? Nope. Caper. You are no longer a pig. What a strange, unique effect. You love to see it. Um, I am all for weird, one-off, unique effects for, like, characters and stuff. It's silly, because then, then they have it, and if they find a chance to reuse it, it means something special, you know? It's not just like, oh, whatever, you know, I don't care about it. It's like, now it's like, oh, look, it's reusing the thing. Like, now that's cool. Okay. Um, let's go one, two, three. It's not going to kill, but we'll do a bunch. I love slashing with the sword there. Astonish, like the Pokemon move? Kind of is. Blocking a noble phantasm is kind of what it is, you know? Uh, pain breaker, wish, and then we'll do this. All right. It's the first time I've used this, apparently. It is nice that it's a straight-up debuffer move. It's very useful. Remember when people told me not to use this because it'd be a spoiler? Again. People were like, don't use it, it's a spoiler. And I look at it, I'm like, that would have told me nothing. Nothing about that. Even the name, the protection of the Satsukusi or whatever, it's like, what is it? Protection of the... what? Uh, yeah, Sakatsuki. That, that would mean nothing to me. I feel like people really overestimate, like, the level of, like, me reading between the lines. That would mean nothing to me. I don't know what that's meant to be. I mean, it, now that I know, oh, she's a grail, and, like, it's with the wish-granting stuff. Sure. Now I can see it, right? But at the time, I'm like, I freaking don't know. That means nothing to me. It's like when people say, oh, skip the opening movies to the Fate, you know, games and stuff. My, my dude, one, it's at the beginning. It's not like it's gonna... It's, it's, it's meant to be there. But two, it's like, you think that I can recognize something that shows up for half a second with zero context? My dude, I barely recognize stuff when I see it happen with full time for context. I'm stupid. And I think that's the point. We're all stupid. As a people, when we're first playing games and stuff, we don't know. We don't know what it means, right? And that's just how it is. And it's fine, you know? It's like, could you imagine if it said, oh, skip the opening, skip the opening, it's going to spoil stuff. 
It's definitely not as bad as uh Definitely not as bad as like movie trailers. But I think movie trailers are worse for spoilers than uh movie and game trailers than openings. Because the opening is meant to be seen. Like it's not like it's supposed to be hidden. Um, okay, let's see here. With you, let's go with this. Yeah, we want that. Ally attack up. And let's go. One, two, three. Whoa, a coin, a coin. Good stuff. Uh, so close. Yeah, having the, the bunch of stars is actually really nice, too. Like, just super nice. Uh, okay, so we go sunshine first, and then this, and then this. Right? And we'll go one, two, three. Chunk of damage, 20,000. Very nice. Whoa, big hit. Almost. I've definitely come around to preferring Gawain with the big fluffy cape. At first, I was like, I kind of enjoy the simplicity of his coatless design. And I did. I legitimately did. But I, I feel like having now looked at both in combat and seeing them kind of, you know, in different environments, I think with the big cape, he looks better. It just finishes his design. This one is okay. But him with the big furry cape, no, nah, then he's cool. I think that is the, the perfect culmination of his design, right? Okay, so. Man, a prism. Uh, a maid cafe famed for socialization. Gotta talk with the maids, yo. Gotta chat them up. Gotta be like, hey, you come here often? And they're like, um, I work here. You're like, awesome. <laughs> okay. I'm actually, f honestly, and this is going to sound super conceited, like extremely conceited. I am super happy that while I am, like, I feel a little awkward, I've never felt like I was to a point where I've, I'm, like, embarrassingly awkward. Like, I, I play it up for jokes and stuff sometimes. I do, because it's funny. It's hilarious, right? But I feel like... The fact that I, I can be like, how can I put this? The fact that I, I feel like I've never truly embarrassed myself because I can at least laugh it off with them. I feel happy about, and I feel like that's kind of a terrible thing to say still, but I do feel that way, right? The fact that I can be like, yeah. We laugh it off. It's fine. You know, it's funny stuff. Uh, let's go. Yeah, let's go. One, two, three. As much as we can here. Nice. Okay. There we go. Please don't kill Burnhill. No, she's going to die. Rip. That's fine. These two will win. In fact, doesn't it stun you? Chance to inflict stun. Okay, we're going to do that at the end of the combo then. Uh, so we'll go one, two. Th Ooh, but no. We'll do one, two, three. You know, I feel like we're not going to stun. I feel like we're okay. Let's see. Let's play the game. It's, it's a small chance. We're good. We're good. No stun. It did enough damage anyways. It didn't even say miss. So, or no effect. So yeah, probably. Just didn't even proc. Because the battle was done. The battle was won. Frick, I've been playing for like two hours. Dang. Dang. I'll say this. I was worried that this would be like... A time sink that I would have nothing to talk about, but at the end of the day, I'm still having fun. And I hope you're enjoying listening. These are more like podcasts, honestly, though. If I'm being honest, like the, the, that is the closest comparison to, to uh, you know, what a, what a franchise, you know, type of video this is. This is just me podcasting. 
Just me being like, what's up, guys? This is me talking to myself. Which is always fun. Honestly, talking to yourself. Like, it's a thing crazy people do. But at the same time, it lets you get your thoughts out. I kind of wish it wasn't so societally stigmatized. And the good news is, uh, if anyone, you know, was listening to me somehow, you know, through my room or whatever, you know, I did learn that my neighbors downstairs are a student at my school. So uh, at least I don't have to worry about, you know, getting a, you know, a housewife angry or something. It's, it's a student, whatever. But I can at least, you know, Masters come for the first time. Uh, at the very least, I can be like, you know, they might think I'm just talking to friends. Because I've told my students, yeah, I, I call my friends and talk with them. So if they're listening to me, you know, the, if, 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 if that is possible, you know, through the walls and stuff, then they probably just think I'm talking to people and not to myself. They might be like, wow, you never really let your friends talk. Kind of command the conversation. And I'll just say, yeah, that's true. Right? I like to be the center of the conversation. Even though in reality, that's the absolute opposite. I actually usually, like, if I'm in a group setting especially, or even talking with one-on-one, -on -one, I usually hold off quite a bit from talking. Just out of a sense of, you know. Unless I, like, if I have something to say, I'll say it. But if not, I'll just, you know, I'll keep quiet. This is how it is. Not really out of fear or anything, just out of... As I say, Master worth the price of nine people. Master triumphantly returns. Okay. It's kind of fun. Um, oh, we have enough for you, actually. Got some stuff with you. Only went on a forest. Well, we're not in a forest, sadly. So we'll do one, two, three. Okay. Give him the old, whole big old hand. Ooh, is that enough? Yeah, it is nice. Good. Good. A lot of good buffs on that, huh? Okay, and then... Let's finish this off here. Nice. All right. Another one down. Slightly worried. Haven't seen the connecting thing for a while. In fact, I'd say it's been running really well. So uh, that's good. I d did a bunch of stuff to, to again, fix my, my emulator here. Because I, I installed the Google Play games for PC beta. Really? Servants? Well, that includes EXP stuff, yeah. if I'm correct. So we'll we'll go and put in some of those and some servants there. Um, let's see here. We'll start with, because we have some HP enhancement stuff. So let's just see here. So those are all my four stars, but who else is there? Who can take some? Um, oh, yeah, you definitely will need some. Take some of these. Yep. Okay. You're a five star. Should max out for that at least. Okay. I'm not going to use those on you, but we still have more. Um, let's see. I don't want the four stars. Uh, you're a five star. You're a five star. You're a five star. Let's see. We'll go with you for now. Okay. Deal with these. Mm hmm. There we go. I never noticed she's holding her traveling outfit behind her. Never noticed that till now. That is such a good outfit, her little traveling uniform. Honestly, I kind of wish she wore it in a... In, in stuff, because it's, like, really good. Okay, so we're going to go with, um... Give some to you. There we go. That should be enough for now. Actually, what I might do then 
I'm actually gonna go by level and just even pop a bunch of them just to be careful. Um, let's see here. Yeah, just like whatever. Might as well. It's taking a weird time to load. There we go. That should be enough for now. Okay, sounds good. So, let's have this as our final one for now. Even if it's thin. Oh, we're talking about thin books? We're talking about dojins? I have stories about dojins. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's see, are we gonna go to Mandarake? Yo, frick, this is Mandarake. Or... I don't well, know, actually, this doesn't look like Mandarake. This looks like where I walked to the section that was, uh, I was, I thought it was marked by series. I'm like, oh, it's the Jojo Dojins. And then I looked and it was Yaoi. Didn't want Yaoi, but I found it. These are great backgrounds. Look at all this artwork. There's like a lot of artwork that's like, like different. That looks just like a Wada Arco book though. Like that looks real. That's a bit weird, a body pillow, but okay. That's cute. That's a cute outfit. I don't get the people who think he's hot. Okay. Paraiso. That really is ten Goku on Earth. From now on, I'm shutting myself away in here. Wow, they even have a new dojin for my favorite artist. I can't believe I didn't hear about this one. You're mine. So this is a bookstore. Oh, one that specializes in doujinshi from the looks of it. Exactly. Doujin, by definition, usually circulate uh, entirely through cons. As passion projects produced by small groups, the very existence is fundamentally at odds with the concept of widespread distribution. But then, it's about the brilliant idea of coming up with bookstores like this to make up for that flaw. Fun fact, I went to a doujin store, Mandarake, uh, in Nakano Broadway from Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth, but in real life. Um, and there I went to the Fate section, and I, I actually bought a lot of Fate Dojins, but only the safe for work ones, because uh, I I was already feeling like I was playing with fire, having my copy of Fate Stay Night, the original, uh, with me, because technically, possibly might not be legal in Can might not be legal in Canada. Canada has some strange laws about what's allowed and what's not for that. Um, but here's the thing. I had an excuse. I, I had a fully academic paper written out, just ready to be like, look, this is research material. This is like, I'm looking at it as art. Just because it features sexual content does not mean it is made for sexual gratification, right? So I had that all planned out, right? Uh, obviously them giving me uh, a free thing, a lube with my copy of Fate Stay Night, which is a well-documented thing I've talked about many times, wouldn't have helped with that. Um, it was actually a Tenga click ball. Give that a Google if you want. Um, but, so I was like, okay, I want to buy some, some Fate Dojins. So I got a bunch of, uh, Fate Dojins, including a Fate cookbook, which, uh, led to then later the creation of the Today's Menu for the Emmy Family series there, which is wonderful. But, um, I found a book and I'm like, oh, yo, yo, it's a muscular saber Dojin. And I open it up and if you've, you probably know the one I'm talking about, if you know. And I open it up though and I'm like, oh, that's not nice art on the inside. I mean, the back is just like her with like this ripped back and like it looks awesome. But then you open it up and it's just very tasteless pornography. Anyways, I uh, I see. Thanks for filling me in. The star's a little more posh than I was expecting, but I can feel it pulsing with Dojin power where it counts. If true paradise exists, this is definitely it. Oh man, this is so exciting. Whenever I hear the word doujinshi, I always think back to that summer in Luluhawa and the best event in this game. I hope that was a festival of the arts for the ages. It's just a shame that I was prohibited from distributing the book I made myself. Uh, sounds like everyone here knows a lot more about this stuff than I would have thought. Dojin. Primarily comics made by professional and amateur artists alike for the joy of making them, right? From what I understand, it sounds like people care about them the same way I care about sculptures and dolls. Since it's common for one person to find value in another person in something another person made, I'm guessing this place was made to collect and display many such works to make it easier for people to buy and sell them. Exactly. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna check all the shelves here to see what they've got and not just look at the price tags for now. Actually, dojins are super cheap, like really cheap, like three to five, maybe like seven dollars. 
Um, sorry, we need to get our points first. Senpai's right, Osaka Bihime. I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to do your shopping later. How much later? Do you think you can wait until after the singularity has been repaired? Uh, but that'll give me any barely time before it closes! I am down! I'm Morgan Freeman, and you can call me the Dojin Sage. I'm the one who stands atop this store's organizational chart. They call me the Dojin Sage. <laughs> Body was so shocked by the sudden appearance of this mysterious new character that she unwittingly began narrating her thoughts in third person. <laughs> These, okay. Morgan Freeman appears. He says that he's the Dojin Sage, and then Batty starts talking in third person. This event is the best. You come here in search of a trial, then a trial you shall have. In this store, instead of putting pitting our customers against each other in points, we ask them to complete a challenge. All you need to do is clear the own- I mean, Lord Dojin Sage's challenge and the points are yours. We hope you'll consider taking part- Oh, but please be aware some challenges may require certain qualifications. I see, so what's this um, trial involve? Ho oh, ho ho. Well, you see, I've been blowing off work to read Dojinshi ever since Akihabara was a barren wasteland. That doesn't sound very sage-like to me. Which is why I want nothing more than to see Dojin culture flourish for many years to come. And to make that happen, we need to train a younger generation to carry on our traditions. Go on. If you want to earn points in my store, you'll need to prove that your eye is discerning enough to merit them. My true goal, you see, is to unearth new and promising talent. So, um, what exactly is it you want us to do? I want you to find the best dojin in the shop, bring it to me, and explain your reason for choosing it. Huh? Isn't that kind of vague? What do you mean by best? There are so many ways in which to evaluate a work of art. All I seek is an answer that I can accept. But I will warn you up front. Any shallow choices, such as picking the most expensive book in the shop, will be disqualified. Okay, I'll just think of this as a kind of challenge run then. It shouldn't be too hard to find a rare book on one of the industry's current biggest artists put out while she was still making doji- Stop! Ah! You can't fool me. There's no need to unearth a warrior who's already in the thick of battle. What you need to be doing now is drawing, in fact, what are you even doing here in the first place? You should be back in your room, pouring your heart onto your drawing board, not out here with your canvas still blank. Are you hunting me about my deadline too? Got all wrong, it's just my input time. True, I'll admit that input is in many ways just as important as output. But your, inexperience, your experiences in the trenches do mean you're a poor fit for this challenge. I want to see new future possibilities, not the cold calculating moves of a seasoned Dojin artist, but the raw unfettered power of youth. Now let me see which of you is qualified. You two have faces of an assistant who have looped through the hellish summer of Dojin creation multiple times. You're not wrong. Also, hold up. What are you doing there? You're not in the game yet. Get out of here. You're not here yet. Get out of here. You'll be coming later. Get out of here. That makes you pros in your own rights, which disqualifies you from this challenge. I mean, Senpai and me? Wow, you really do have a keen eye. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to sit this one out. This is all way outside my area of expertise. All right, I've made my decision. You two will be the ones to take part in my point challenge. Me? Very well. To be honest, I do not know very much about manga, but I have the absolute confidence in my eye for art. Me too. I don't have much confidence when it comes to evaluating two-dimensional works of art myself. We're counting on you two, not that we have much of a choice. I'm a worry not. With me here, this challenge is as good as one. Oh, those two will be okay. I'm sure they will be. They both know a lot about art, after all. Come, Galatea, let us be made by looking over every book on these shelves. All right, I'll do the best I can. I feel light to my head. Is this real? Is any of this real? I don't know. It doesn't feel real. You're telling me that Morgan Freeman is the Dojin Sage? And like, let's be real. There is no way that that character model isn't directly taken from Morgan Freeman. Like, we make the jokes. 
But there's no possible way uh, of a major club of a popular title. There's no way that it's coincidence that it looks so much like Morgan Freeman. Like, if it is a coincidence, what a one it is. Okay, who else? Okay, we, so we see some of the doujins from the previous events, right? We see, oh, there's Shu Fu. You're not playable yet either. We got, is that? Okay, that's, what's her face? Vritra is, I don't know who that is though. Who's that? She's got big boobies. Of course, there's Astolfo. Haha, <laughs> Astolfo, funny meme guy. Yeah, okay. Um, let's see. Do that. Sure. 20% gauge, sure. I'm gonna do this to do as much as I can to you. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Save my meter for next time though. The constant debuff uh, removing is quite nice. That is quite useful. Um, let's go... One, two, three. There we go, and then do that. Nice, that's enough to gain our meter for next time. Yeah, her her heal is actually quite good. It's a decent little heal on her. She has a good little kit. Not one that I would find myself using too much though, but it's a neat little kit. I appreciate it. Actually, wow, you have enough to begin with. Good. Nice. I'd love to just see what what all the covers are. Because a lot of them look new, new art that I've never seen before. Old looking Dojin book. That's the one that we want to grab. Yeah, we'll grab this. Defense up. Let's go. One, two, three. Cut out the book. Dojins are so interesting. They are. Oh, this is apparently new. I get even though it's, she changes to her last ascension anyway, so it's gonna be the same. Maybe the words are new. Let's see. How much do we do? Enough to kill. Good. Um, no, I find Dojin super interesting because they are so diametrically opposed to the concept of IP. Like. Dojins are so cool because they, they are the only, like, widely accepted form of plagiarism I can think of, right? They are. I mean, they're, they're plagiaristic in the fact that they are using pre-existing IPs, and yet they're not just an accept- they're not just legal in Japan, they are widely accepted, right? Um, mind you, they do have to follow certain rules. I mean, there's the fact that you can't loot the horses from Uma Musume. You will be killed by the Yakuza, um, or Pokemon has very strict Dojin laws too. But for the most part, it's like, the fact that you can be pretty open about it is really cool. And I think it's a it's a neat thing that just doesn't exist anywhere else. It looks like they found a book they agree on. I wonder what kind of Dojin she it could be. So you've made your choice. Umu, here you go. Yes, this is it. Let's see what they picked. Uh-huh. A doujin of an anime that used to be popular decades ago with kind of a old-fashioned art style. Oh, you mean a base art style? It's definitely not winning any awards. Even its cover and binding aren't all that memorable. Are, are they sure about this? I have a hard time believing that this is the best doujin in a shop. Again, they do say not to judge a book by its cover. This is your choice? We found no end of books with well-drawn art. But between my fine Roman sensibilities and Galatea's Greek sculptor's eyes, there were plenty of worthy candidates. However, they all lack something more, something that definitively set them apart from all the other books. Why did you settle on this one? To be perfectly honest, this book cannot compete with the others at a technical level. It is still rough and undefined. But according to Galatea, as I thought, I don't know enough about manga to distinguish a good one from a bad one, but I can tell when something is made with love. It was the love of another that gave me life so I can recognize how precious it is. And so I can say this with absolute certainty. As old and amateurish as this book may be, it was made with more love than any other book in this store. That's why we chose it for our submission. Well, I do not have the same certainty as Galatea. As a lover of the arts, I too can sense the passion that went into this book. As such, I have no qualms about choosing it as the best one in the store. Now, what is your verdict? Did you... know? Huh? Huh? 
No? <laughs> Looks like it really was a coincidence. Well, I'll be damned. You got me good. This is the very first Dojin I ever drew. <laughs> Magi, really? Third, just a fan. Boy, this takes me back. I didn't know much about drawing, and I was so nervous I second-guessed every creative choice I made. Giving them all penises was a decision that was a bit ahead of its time. But even though I was just copying things from all the other books I'd read, my passion was so great that I couldn't put my pens down until I'd finished. Yes, that's right. I put every bit of love I had into this book. It marks a momentous turning point in my life when I went from just being a passive consumer to a creator in my own right. That would have been kind of touching if you hadn't gone on for so long. Or be Morgan Freeman. So do we pass? Um, yes, I suppose you do. You did it, Galtea Neo. You, Nero, you really came through. All right, sucker set and success. Now I can finally get back to shopping for. However... I still have a lot more to say. Isn't it pathetic that this day, decades old derivative dojin of mine was made with the most love out of everything here? It just goes to show that young artists today simply don't have the same kind of passion for dojin they used to back in the- Hey, are you listening to me? Anyway, as I was saying, it's great that young artists like yourselves have all gotten so good at drawing, but I can't help but feel it's just cold techniques to draw with the feelings I let them want to create in the first place. I'm not saying one should ever change genres to go around chasing every new trend that pops up left and right. Ah, uh, not another rat about the good old days. Oh my god, I just want to go back to shopping. I have to think that would be better for our bank books, too. This game is ridiculous. This game is so silly. What the frick is going on? Just, I feel like if I ever want to just tell someone, like, what, what's the appeal of Fate Grand Order, I would show them Morgan Freeman, the Dojin Sage, and then Osaka Pihime talking in third person. And they'd be like, oh, I get it now. I understand. We're at the main cafes. Meanwhile, Blackbeard's going to be here. Welcome back, ladies. Oh, no, who's this? Wrong. Sorry? I am an empress. Oh. I am a grand duchess. I see. I'm sorry for the mistake. I'm empress and grand duchess. <laughs> so, um, are you both here on your own? I'm afraid we're very busy right now. So we'll have to either ask... Well, I have to ask you that you either wait until two tables open up, or that you sit together. Hmm. We are here at the same time by coincidence, but this is not the first time we have met. I suppose a Grand Duchess is qualified to sit at the same table as an Empress, if only just. As long as you do not fear my hand slipping and poisoning your tea, you may join me if you like. Oh, I'm not worried. Not with V looking out for me. If anything, I feel like I should apologize for you now in case I inadvertently end up turning your tea into a sorbet. Hmm? That is quite alright. There are uh, some poisons, such as fire curl, that burn like a raging flame. Well, that is not to say fire coral is actually on fire. It simply makes you feel as though you are burning alive until it kills you. <laughs> I have no idea if they're hitting it off or plotting each other's death. Uh, very well then, Empress Grand Duchess. Right this way, please. Who else? Who else is going to come in? Oh, no, it's still them. It really is busy in here, isn't it? I see plenty of familiar faces as well. Hmm? Don't they have anything better to do? Are we really in a position to judge? I have nothing better to do. Don't say it. I also have nothing better to do. Look at them doing their little dance on the stage. Moi moi Q. Thanks, everyone. If you like that show, please be sure to stick around for the next one in 30 minutes. That is a thing. Every 30 minutes, they put on a show. Oh, she loves it. That was amazing. Bravo, well done. I've never seen such song and dance performed in, in, in such wonderfully frilly frocks before. Coming here was the best decision I've made all week. It was a lovely show, but I'm not sure it guaranteed a standing, it warranted a standing ovation. Then again, I suppose there's nothing wrong with showing performers how much you appreciate their work. I don't know. I have a feeling your standards for entertainment are a little low. Oh, it's, I was going to say, like, why is Medusa here? Medusa's here because she's here with Sakura. That's cute. 
Oh, not to say those girls were bad or anything. I actually think they did a really good job, too. Mm. What do you expect, Parvati and Serpent of the West? I love singing and dancing, but I've not seen much of either. If you think I'm reacting too strongly, Goddess of Grace, then by all means, favor me with such a song and of with, with uh, as much of your song and dance as you like. After all, I've heard the stories of you shaking your booty and victory on top of Shiva after defeating. That was Kali, not me. I mean, I can't say I have nothing whatsoever to do with that, but still, it wasn't me. I'm also not known for my hips. That's other servants. No matter. You can just introduce me to someone, uh, uh, someone then. I mean, I know. Uh, what about Sarasvati, the goddess of music? I thought I sensed something of her inside that, um, Leviathan girl. Surely you can bring me the real thing here, not just a fragment, no? What do you say? No, I can't. I'm sorry. You just don't care who you get your entertainment fix from, do you? Knock it off. Gravati's got enough on her plate as it is. Oh, does that mean you're offering to take her place, then? That's fine with me. I'd be happy just to see a Western goddess demonstrate her performing arts. Ah, uh, you really are shameless, aren't you? I guess we should just be glad she's not getting her kicks by getting in people's way anymore. Let's see. I think I'll have a sandwich, a piece of cake. Oh, and I can't forget the light cheat juice. I still haven't got over how you're super freaking evil. You don't mind, right? Um, I mean, Sister Nightbright. Hold it. When did I say this was to be my treat? You mean it isn't? I guess not all grandparents love to spoil their grandchildren then. Too bad I was really looking forward to this mini family reunion too. <laughs> oh, come on. We may technically be family, but it's not as though we're related by blood. Okay, I'll give up on the cake. I guess I'll have to settle for the more basic sandwich, too. Uh, I... All right, I cannot stand to see an empress, emperor's wife weeping over her lunch. Just order what you like. I will show you just how generous the empress who united all of China can be. Really? Yeah, you're the best, Sister Nightbright. I love you. Stop that. This is not about love. Get off me or I'll have you tortured for impropriety. My imperial pride simply will not permit me to let my grandson's wife go hungry, no matter how irritating she might be. Can't wait for you to get your summer form. That is all there is to it. Nothing more. Don't be silly, sister. Torch doesn't suit this town and doesn't suit you anymore either. Now on a different subject. Do you look at this free Akihabara guide I picked up earlier? There's so much to see here. Mm, where should we go next? This store looks like it has lots of interesting manga and I'd like to take home some of these cute cosplay outfits too. Don't tell me she expects me to pay for those as well. Oh look, I think they're about to do... Another show? Oh, this is so much fun. All those pretty outfits and beautiful songs make me feel like I'm back in the palace again. In fact, I'm enjoying myself uh, so much I'm tempted to jump right in there with them while we wait for our food. I want to sing and dance along with those girls. Don't do it. Your talent for the performing arts is so great that you would shatter their confidence in their own skills and drive this cafe out of their business. Mm -hmm. Does that mean you like my performances then? I'm so glad to hear that. Yes, well, my ability to accurately assess a person's talent served me well as an empress. At any rate, the food here is here now, so go on, eat up. No, oh, I know. Why don't we take turns feeding each other? It's okay for me to feed you, right, sister? Members of the palace household are supposed to take care of the emperor's or empress's every need, after all. Now go on, open wide. Stop that, you fool. Where are your manners? You cannot just treat me as though I are your little sis- <laughs> She's so cute. What if your grandma was a little girl? <laughs> Why you got the shades on, buddy? Welcome home, Master. Is this seat okay? No, thanks. I prefer somewhere less conspicuous. Um, okay then. Right this way, please. Now, if you'd, I, if you'd like to have a private conversation with one of our maids, the rules for doing so are... No, no need for that. All I want... Is a parfait. I'm sorry? You don't have to repeat my order back to me. It's a matter of both utmost secrecy and urgency. I understand this is risky, since a captain must maintain his dignity at all times, no matter the cost. But when you live on a submarine, it's also essential to occasionally relieve stress and engage in self-care while on shore leave. So please, keep this on the down low. Okay, but, um, we're supposed to cast a charm on every parfait we serve to customers, so... I appreciate the thought, but that won't be necessary either. I don't want to attract any kind of attention. All I want... is a parfait. Please. Coming right up. Why even bother to come here then? And aren't you like 12? They do seem to be enjoying themselves. What do you think of this place, Empress? Hmm? It's not bad. I appreciate that these maid servants, well, just maids, I suppose, are so attentive. 
Um, though they are better than my Dao retainers, they are still a bit too ostentatious to wait on me in my throne room. Here you are, uh, Empress. One Omer rice filled with love. Very good. Yes, what is it? The finishing touch? I'm going to cast a spell to imbue it with even more love so it tastes super duper scrumptious. Behold the magic of Akiba. Love infusion. Heart. There, that should... Something wrong? <laughs> I cannot believe you had the gall to cast a spell on my food right in front of me. Terribly reckless of you. Had I sensed even a hint of ill will behind your spell, you would have died before the words left your lips. Such spells are like poison. They are meant to be cast in the shadows away from prying eyes. Nonetheless, I must commend your bravery. Well, would you like to enter my service? Or perhaps become one of my doves? Um, that's very kind of you, but, um... It's okay, don't mind her. You you can go now. Okay. Enjoy your meal. I never thought she would turn out an invitation for me. Perhaps I should have left out the dove thing. Beats me. Oh, hang on. Don't touch your omelet just yet. Here, getting closer. Uh-huh. Go on. Look at V. <laughs> look at him. Look at him. Just holds a B. Just holds a B. And B's just like, bitch. <laughs> Sometimes the mental images I make are better than the game itself, and I sure hope that me explaining them can even come close to giving you the pleasure that I have going on in my brain. Oh, don't worry. He's not using his mystic eyes. I'm just gonna have to take a picture with the camera I'd installed in him. Go on, say cheese. There. Now I'll upload it to the cloud. Ted lit lunch with a friend at a cute cafe and post it to Servantgram. There's now Servantgram? Oh, wow. It already got a comment. Glad to see you're having fun. I hope I can join you in the next one. Do you think it's meant for you? It was sent by your friendly neighborhood priest. Oh, God, dude's so down bad. How should I know? Besides, I never gave you permission to use my likeness. Take that post down at once. Cute. But also, bro's down bad. Not, not a very good priest, if you ask me. Though, I mean, let's be real here. There are no good priests in fate. <laughs> there really, Julie there the really baby. isn't any good priests in fate. All right, two hours. Hot dang. Dojin shop has been added too. Cool. Two hours. That's a lot of time. All right, let's throw in. I mean, honestly, it doesn't even super matter because we're just gonna throw them in. Um. I'm starting to default to the Osaka Bihime voice. This isn't good. So therefore, I will call it here. Does the level go up? It does. Level slowly goes up, I see. Shop 50. Okay, that's that's where we're getting to. Actually, we're going to get there pretty soon because it'll be next time. All right, guys, we'll see you next time for some more. Let's play Fake Grand Order as we continue up the tower and I continue to lose my, my damn mind. We'll see you next time. Ciao.